Welcome back to another video, everybody. Today, we're going to play the highest scoring Madden game ever. This is the 49ers versus the Chiefs at the Super Bowl at Allegiant Stadium, Las Vegas Raiders. And this is accurate compared to the actual Super Bowl. So, yeah, let's get into the video. This is already looking like an NBA game with over 100 points. 100 points is almost never achieved in football. Only in college football is have, have these instances, and almost all of those are 100 years ago. So, yeah, so the most scoring points in the NFL is like 72 to 40 something, and like I like a game in the 60s. But by one team, it was by the Bears when they beat the Redskins 73 to nothing. So that's already broke both of those records. I'm late making this video, but the reason why I'm making this video is because obviously the Super Bowl has passed, but also I made a video like this before, and it was back in one of my older days on my channel, but that was um, bad quality. I was playing Madden 11, and I was recording from my phone to my TV, so I wasn't recording on the console, of course, so that's why I was in really bad quality, but I recommend if you watch it after this video because it has a whole different strategy than the one I'm using now. The strategy I'm using is to use um, tight end plays and launch it down the field, and also use the defense to use field goal block plays so you can get open field. Sometimes this can lead to interceptions or incompletions because of just how far the field play is. But most of the time you can get touchdowns and you can get easily 70, 80 yards each play. Sometimes 66, 67, it depends where the punt lands. But yeah, you can easily get 1,000 yards in this game and stuff with over one quarterback. So yeah, a lot of running. Yeah, I got this on rookie mode because the goal is to get most touchdowns in the least amount of time. It's not about actually playing the game the right way. I usually get comments about this all the time. It's kind of annoying because they missed the whole point, but yeah. Usually I play games like this. I do it for entertainment purposes, so yeah, that's why I kind of do that. Yeah, but I kind of play an average difficulty like normal people, like off screen, of course, just for the fun of it. I wonder what the fans are wondering right now. Do you know loving it saying high scoring football and all these touchdowns are cool? Or do you know hating it saying, oh no, not taking the game seriously. They just keep scoring points and not playing defense. Wah. You know, yeah, you can't be in between. But I'm loving it because it's not real. We're about to pass the record for most points in the NBA game. 170 something, 180 something. I don't really know for sure. But it was like a multiple overtime game. So that's pretty cool. Running down the field. And there's another touchdown. Look at this crazy infographic over here. Here's the stats right here of the game so far, 29 for each one. Yeah, it just stops at 2,047 yards for some reason in this game, so don't know why that is. Like, I know 248 is like a um, factor of two if you just keep doubling the number, which might just be a reason why the game might stop there, because I know in Minecraft, it's like 2.1 billion is like a number that it doesn't like go against and it doesn't go past. It's a bunch of math and stuff, so I feel like it's a factor of that. Other than, but if it's not the case there, then I don't know what I'm talking about. I do read uh, some stuff or watch some videos about how game glitches and stuff. Yeah, but that's a theory. However, back to the NFL. Yeah, we got 230 apiece here in a high school and game of football. So, yeah. Not too long ago, we passed the record for most points by one team in um, college football history, which was done by Georgia Tech, I think, versus Cumberland in, like, 1910 or something. Yeah, so that's a cool story in itself. There's a cool video about it. It's a card, yeah, because they come when we didn't even have a football program at that point, and then Georgia Tech was had a head coach of, what's it called, like the guy, um, John Heisman. Yeah, he has the Heisman Trophy named after him, basically the college football version of the MPV or something. So it's a pretty cool story to, to learn about. However, though, um, there is a record for the most points by one high school team. It was like 256, so we haven't made it there yet. But... Yeah, we'll just get up there real soon. I don't think any sport where he goes this high of the big four sports. Yeah, basketball is definitely the highest scoring of all of them. So, yeah, seeing this score is kind of outrageous. You know what I mean? Yeah, out of all the big four sports, like hockey is the least scoring, of course. Imagine seeing this score in a hockey game. That would be absurd. Or a soccer game, but that's not really part of the big four sports. I think that's like the fifth most popular in America because it's like baseball, of course. Yeah. Football is like, I think, most popular behind basketball. I don't know. I don't know the numbers of that, which is more popular football, basketball. But, yeah, it's pretty cool. And he's marching down the field again for another touchdown. 
So as you can see that the numbers have reset like in touchdown comparison because after 32 it just resets the number for some reason. Once again it's kind of a factor by two if you keep doubling it so it probably goes around with that theory. Don't ask why, I don't know how the real game logic works but I think when, like, when it comes to 16-bit or 32-bit games they work the same way. If you go above that sort of number then it kind of times out or something or the game just can't compute it, you know, can't factor it. So it probably goes along that theory. Pretty interesting though. But now we're at 266 and there's another touchdown and the game just continues to go high when scoring. On a 4th and 10 play, because sometimes these plays just don't work, so yeah. Um, once again, they're going to fall back with another touchdown. Three guys there, so they all three could have ta called that one. Yeah, pretty cool. Right at the middle of the touchdown thing. Yeah, I always kind of jump at the end of the edge on end zone because it's kind of funny. Imagine the yards in these players. I think I always pass it to the same person, like B, I think. You know what I mean? I usually switch it around every now and then, but don't want to risk the plan. Yeah. Once again, um, another touchdown in the fourth quarter now. We're nearing 300 points, which is kind of insane, if you ask me. My previous record in my previous video was like 200 and to like 10, 215 or something like that. Once again, you can check out the other video. I'll probably be linking at the end of this video. And there's another one, of course. And now we got 300 points on the board. And there's another touchdown just to match that one. Yeah. So, marching down the field. Just doing another like 60-yard play, I think. Uh, yeah. The people in the stands are like... <laughs> the people are like, how, how long is it going to keep going for? <laughs> yeah, imagine being a fan in the stands for this game. <laughs> That'd be wild. Yeah, so pretty much same exact thing. You no, know, every football record has been probably broken at this point. Probably has near the three hundred, I mean three thousand, maybe four thousand yards at this point because it won't show me the stats anymore. I think we out. I think we broke the yard system in the first half or something. So yeah, got to have like four thousand at this point. Yeah, I don't know what the record is of most passing yards in a single game. I know the Miami Dolphins, when he won 70-20, had like 700 to total yards or something like that. Yeah, but like most quarterbacks, like 400 yards is like outstanding game. is like almost like incredible game. Like 500 is unheard of, I feel like. You know what I mean? But yeah, this game itself probably has more yards in it than a whole season for an NFL quarterback or something. Because since it's kind of like... Kind of cut off of yards. We can't tell how much we exactly have, but we can make estimations. Imagine going back and counting every single yardage of every single point in the game just to figure out the exact number. That would be and crazy. Well, I don't think I game clipped every single touchdown play in this game. Like, a lot of them were 15-second clips. Sometimes I have, like, 30-second clips because some of them were interception return or something, but I didn't want to use too much data, so... Yeah, look at that. 31 to 0 touchdowns. Yeah, that's an example of how this thing can get timed out. Yeah. Um, some of these pictures are out of place still, but that one was kind of in the proper situation. Um, I think at, at this point, so about 31 to 22, I mean 322. But like, like I'm saying, like 28 um, points is done by four touchdowns. So we got to have over 40 touchdowns at this point. Yeah, in addition to 40 points on top of that, 42 points exactly. So that's six, 46 touchdowns? No? Yeah, for, this is going to be the 47th touchdown for the Chiefs. And that's almost 100 touchdowns apiece for both teams, really. So, um, yeah, this should be number 94 for both teams right here. Yeah, if I, oh, what if I had a counter on the side? That would be insane, too. Well... Yeah, I kind of want to get this video out fast, so that would probably take too long for anything, but that would be cool, though. But, yeah, I do need to get this video out before the end of February, at least. I got this really late, but I also have plans to do an All-Star game, high-scoring game, because Ted Gray already happened, yeah. If you haven't seen the NBA All-Star game, it was like 211, 185. So, yeah, I'm going to make a video of that, another overtime game. Makes me an excuse to do that one again, and I do need to make that a lot higher quality, I guess, a lot better, at least. Yeah, and because I was playing to do a finale on that, so that's the perfect excuse to do that. So, um, back to the NFL, when we got to the end of the game, really, there's the little scoreboard right there, kind of wild. 
Now we're almost into overtime. One more touchdown for the game. Maybe I can get two more, but I just don't want to risk not tying it and ending the fourth quarter. Because in overtime, like, it can't go on forever in the NFL. There's only one overtime. Since it's not the actual Super Bowl, they're just in the um, little stadium. So, yeah. So, here's overtime. Here's the final touchdown. We're going to do a two-point conversion to get ahead of the 49ers. There's actually two touchdowns here, but I just showed a winning one. And the two-point conversion. Here we go. Can we do it? It all comes down to this. Can the Chiefs do it for one of Taylor Swift? Oh, we don't mention Taylor Swift's heel. Oh, and they done it. They won 351 to 350. The exact way they won in real life. Good thing we actually done it after the real Super Bowl because, well, because it ended up pretty much in the same way. So, yeah, that's pretty cool, you know? Yeah. Well... That was a pretty fun game. Look at that stats there. Look at these graphs. Look at those things. Like the scores, like not even showing on the list. Yeah, look at those weird stats. They won't keep track of all the points in this one. But that's the video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.